since 1985, BJS has emerged as the most reliable organization to bring immediate rescue, relief and rehabilitation measures in disaster-stricken areas. With its extensive institutional national network, dedicated human resources and state-of-the-art communication infrastructure, BJS has time and again succeeded in reaching disaster victims with utmost alacrity. It has also been able to execute voluminous rehabilitation work in the shortest possible time. 1992 Communal Riots India is a country known for its unity and diversity and peace-loving citizens. The communal riots that broke out in 1992 set the country ablaze and it was placed under strict curfew making it the solemn duty of every citizen to work towards restoring peace and calm. Under these circumstances, BJS promptly took the initiative to organize a congregation of the national level religious heads of various communities, eminent social workers and justices from the High Court. Sri Shantilal Mutha, along with all these renowned personalities, undertook a peace march from Pune to Nagpur. This proved to be a successful contribution towards restoration of calm and harmony among the different sections of society. 1993 Latour Earthquake BJS volunteers reached the affected area within a few hours. Rescue camps were promptly set up and 30,000 people provided freshly cooked food every day along with medical help for over one month. Noticing the psychological impact of the disaster on children, a decision was taken to provide counselling and an opportunity for educational rehabilitation. Against all odds, 1,200 affected boys were shifted to Pune 21 days after the quake. BJS undertook the arduous responsibility of educating these boys till they graduated into various fields of choice. The Vagholi Educational Rehabilitation Centre at Pune was established as a hub for the educational rehabilitation and holistic development of disaster affected boys. This centre has a hostel block with a capacity of 1,000 children as also educational buildings housing a school and college each. The main aim of this project is to rehabilitate disaster affected boys in this centre without any delay as and when necessary. This is a one of its kind project in the country. 1996 Melghat Melghat is known as the Somalia of India with a history of endemic malnutrition. The BJS team conducted a needs assessment in that area and firmed up a long-term strategy. 350 boys from class 5 onwards were shifted to BJS's WERC for their holistic development and complete educational rehabilitation for a period of 10 years. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Honorable President of India, visited the centre to meet these children. I am happy to note that Bhatia Jain Sankhdana has been doing commendable work particularly for the welfare of the socially and the economically disadvantaged sections and in particular students in that category. These children have returned to their villages as change agents and are now guiding the rest of their community to give up superstitions and wrong practices. 1997 Jabalpur earthquake After the quake BJS immediately swung into action to provide relief to the quake-affected people. Within a very short period, 50 affected boys were shifted to WERC for the educational rehabilitation. 2001 Gujarat Earthquake The magnitude of this earthquake was shattering. By this time, BJS had eight years of core experience in disaster management and was fully geared up to provide succor. 
Two centers were set up for providing food to 30,000 people every day over a period of three months, besides medical aid and other relief material. During this period, a survey of 515 damaged schools was conducted and a decision to construct 368 out of them was taken. In highly adverse conditions, BJS mobilized building material, labor and other resources from Maharashtra to Gujarat. The schools were built in a record time of 90 days and handed over to the Gujarat government at no cost at the hands of the then Prime Minister Shri Atal Bihari Vajpayee. This enabled 1,25,000 students to come back to school to restart their education. 2001, a cola floods. BJS responded to the call for help immediately and surveyed the damage. People were evacuated by every means possible, including being carried on volunteers' shoulders to the various schools. A government plot was identified and two temporary settlements, the Deepchan Gardi Nagar and Suresh Dada Jain Nagar, were set up. The affected people were shifted to these settlements from the schools until they went back to their permanent homes. 2004 Tsunami Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry When the tsunami struck in December 2004, Tamil Nadu was devastated to the maximum. BJS associates and members of the Jain community took up the challenge of relief on a war footing and distributed hygienically cooked and fresh food to the victims. This activity was being carried out from six centers, namely Sirkali, Chidambaram, Karaikal, Kumbakonam, Kadalor, and Pondicherry. From these six centers, relief work in a total number of 64 villages was monitored. 2004 Tsunami Andaman and Nicobar Andaman and Nicobar, comprising 37 islands, was also highly affected by tsunami. Despite logistically difficult conditions, BJS successfully reconstructed permanent structures in place of the 20 completely damaged schools and 34 primary health centers and sub-centers and handed them over to the administration free of cost. This has resulted in the restoration of the education and healthcare services at the earliest. BJS took upon itself the most important responsibility of improving the quality of education in all the schools on the islands and thus entered into a memorandum of understanding with the Andaman and Nicobar administration for a period of three years. A specialized team of professionals recruited from all over the country, trained at the headquarters in Pune and settled in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, have completed the accreditation of all the schools and are implementing the other programs that have been scientifically designed by BJS's team of professionals at Pune to improve the quality of Eduquip in all the 400 government schools at no cost to the administration or the people. 2005 Mandhar Devi Stampede January 2005 was a day of misfortune for the devotees who throng the Mandhar Devi temple every year. A fire broke out and spread far and wide within no time. 300 people died and 200 were injured. A team of 125 BJS members rushed to the disaster site to provide relief to the affected people for a period of one week. 2005 
Maharashtra floods. The monsoon of 2005 was extremely aggressive. From July 26th onwards, the situation started worsening and the floods took the state administration by surprise. BJS took on the challenge and focused on relief in Mumbai, Pune, Vidarbha and Maratwada and Western Maharashtra. In the Pune region, BJS provided fresh and hygienically cooked lunch and dinner for 32,000 flood affected people relocated in more than 22 schools and dharamshalas for more than 15 days. In the other regions, 10,000 household kits gathered in collaboration with the Sakal Relief Fund were distributed among the affected people. Two thousand five Jammu and Kashmir earthquake. The earthquake of seven point four on the Richter scale killed more than a thousand and rendered about a hundred thousand homeless in Jammu and Kashmir. Thousands of feet above sea level, on the threshold of a ruthless, snowy winter, the young and old, men and women, stood stripped of their shelter and belongings. The nation responded without delay. The Bharatiya Jain Sanghatana, a non-government organization with 20 years of active role in disaster management, galvanized into action for rehabilitation. BJS volunteers were promptly on site to assess the damage and the immediate needs of the survivors. Meanwhile, the National Disaster Management Authority, NDMA, kept in constant touch with BJS, seeking help on the rehabilitation issue. The critical need was for protective shelter in the face of a harsh winter. In a high-powered meeting with the Home Minister, the NDMA presented BJS's novel strategy to reach rehabilitation measures in the shortest possible time by utilizing the temperature-proof prefabricated material earlier used to build schools during the earthquake in Bhuj in 2001. Over the next few days, BJS teams and the executive engineer of the JNK Road and Building Department made extensive surveys of the material used in the school structures erected in Bhuj. A comprehensive feasibility report was issued by the JNK technical officer and the operation began. BJS trained JNK officers about the technicalities of the plinth and erection of the structures. Meanwhile, BJS teams began dismantling the structures on a war footing. On 9th November 2005, a Memorandum of Understanding was signed by NDMA and BJS, making it a unique partnership between an NGO and the government. On the same day, the first special train with 30 bogies loaded with prefabricated material left for Jammu. Between 9th and 12th November, NDMA and BJS presented an exhaustive brief to the Home Minister. BJS prepared and discussed a detailed action plan with the Chief Minister. BJS also held extensive discussions with high-level government officers in Srinagar. This was followed by a joint press conference in Jammu. Meanwhile, the train load of material that had arrived at Jammu was loaded onto 150 trucks. BJS teams visited the sites of Tangdhar, Dringla and Titwal near Pakistan-occupied Kashmir where they interacted closely with the local authorities to familiarize them with the rehabilitation plan. They also talked to the villagers, reassuring them about the efficacy of the project. A second train carrying 300 structures left for Jammu on 16th November. In the difficult mountainous terrain, along narrow winding roads and treacherous ravines, more than a hundred trucks crawled their way to the sites. The time is short. Before the habitual landslides and snow cut off the region from the rest of the world for six long wintry months, the people should have a roof. BJS is well aware of the challenge and for an organization that has worked against time before, it is well equipped for it. Within 50 days from the signing of the MOU, 350,000 square feet of construction shall be complete. At the end of a tough, round-the-clock mission, 15,000 homeless shall be warm 
in 870 homes before the winter. BJS went a step further and undertook the responsibility of the educational rehabilitation of 500 quake affected boys from Jammu and Kashmir. UPA Chairperson Srimati Sonia Gandhi and the Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir Sri Gulam Nabi Azad flagged off the train that carried these boys to Pune on the 10th of December. After having worked in 13 disasters across seven states in such diversified and adverse conditions, BJS has gathered tremendous experience and goodwill of the authorities and the people at large. Nature reigns eternally supreme and man is subjected to her wrath every now and then. But it is his and will to survive that helps him resurrect. BJS pays tribute to this spirit and commits itself to helping our fellow beings from nature's challenges in the future.